Today I thought I'd show you how I built the platform for the uh, bed in my Suburban. Um, I used only wood that I already had on hand. I didn't have to go buy anything. So the wood I have is not perfect, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It works fine for me. Some of it's kind of split, um, but it, it ended up going together just fine. These were, I believe, former bed slats uh, that we weren't using and we thrown in the shed. I ended up, they were one by four. I ended up ripping them down to, I just cut them in half, which basically put it at like one and five eighths, one and three quarters, something like that. I just tried to cut them in half. I have a table saw and I just put them on that and ripped them down. The first thing I did is I built my frame. I just used uh, wood that I already had that had been had thrown in the shed, had been used for something else. So it's got some random screw holes. This was a one by six. I cut out this area here so that I could slide things under it without a problem. This top, I'll get into how all these slats fit together, but these are two separate pieces. Anyway, so I built my frame with each side looks just the same right there. And the front, I put a uh, with another board. Let me see the side here. And I've just got this piece here attached to my front. This piece here is uh, attached at an angle like this. I don't know if you can tell that from the key can right there. But anyway, it's attached at an angle, and there's a purpose for that. I'll explain that in a minute. All right. Each of these slats are 31 inches long, so when I pull this piece out, the end of this rests on the front. Oh, I haven't got enough room here. And it ends up being about 59 inches long. The front part of this actually butts up with just maybe an inch or two away from my second seat in the Suburban. I lay my second seat down so that my mattress, which I think is either 70 or 72 inches long, rest on top of the second seat. This pulls out and goes all the way to my lift gate. All right. I came up with this design after seeing a lot of other people in their cargo vans designing a uh, bed that actually pulls sideways. You know, it'd be the length of a full-size bed it would look like a twin, or maybe they used it for the couch, and then they would have the slats, but they ran this way, and they slid out. But that's not what I needed for the Suburban, because I don't lay crossways. I lay lengthwise of it. And so I kept playing with this, and I, want, I knew I could end up coming up with something that would work lengthwise, and this is what it was. Like I said, these were four-inch boards. I ended up cutting them down, cutting them in half, and took a sander and sanded them really well. Now, I placed all the boards on here. And I had to work with um, how much space to put in between this. Because when I initially first was put all this together, I, I attached the ones that go to the frame, the ones that stay still on the frame. I attached those with one screw on each end just to hold it still. And on the side, you see I've got a shorter board. That just makes up the, the final width. My mattress is 25 inches. This is... The frame is 24 inches, but this side does not butt all the way up against the side of the Suburban, so that gives me, it's about an inch away, so it, it supports my mattress fully. But I put these boards in, got them secured, I secured these boards to my front uh, grab handle. Now, I'll, I just had another 1x6 that I cut down and then added this for a handle to, to slide in and out. Had them attached. Put them in here and started sliding and I realized right away I didn't allow enough space between these and they were getting in a bind that I was pushing forward and it was, you know, not wanting to slide very easily. So I left these alone. I took these back undone and I ended up ripping down just a, just a hair, just a hair off each side of these boards to give me more room as I slide. And that worked really well. I uh, came back, and well, I found that it ended, I was not thinking very clearly. Now, this is fine, having one screw on each end of this. These stay still. The frame is not racking or moving. I've got it secured. But I ended up needing a second screw in each of these boards to keep them from twisting like this on this board. So I added a second screw. They're not pretty. None of this is show quality. 
but it works. It keeps them secure and it keeps them still. Now, once I pulled this out and started using it, I realized that that piece back there, as I was pushing this, because of, because of where this is placed in the Suburban, this back, this, the bottom frame actually is sitting down on the carpet. This comes out over my uh, plastic mat that I've got in the back. And it's got a lip on it that comes up. So actually the lip comes up between this and that. And I'll show you that in a minute. But I realized as I was doing that, that caused this to be just slightly up, which caused that end to be slightly down. And so when it was getting to that board there, even though I had it on a slant, it was hanging up and I could not get it. I mean, I had to beat on it to get it to slide all the way back. So I came back and I took the boards undone from that end and I gave it more of a slant, tried it again, and it still was just not as, didn't glide the way I wanted it to. So I came back and I added a second cross piece and it slanted even more than the one at the back. That gives these slats a lift as it hits right there. It lifts it up and gets it in position to go over the top of that without any trouble. Now let's go put this in the Suburban and let me show you a little bit about that. All right, with it in here, when I have the uh, mattress sitting on top of it, all that stays right there. My seats come up and it doesn't um, interfere with anything that goes on in the front. It maintains my cargo space back here. The reason I decided to do a platform in here is because when I took the third row seats out, it left uh, this raised plastic stuff and then these dips with these bars in it. Same thing as on the other side. Now I've got a, all my <laughs> tools and stuff that I keep in here and it stays underneath this bed platform. But anyway, it was not going to be comfortable to sleep in. Also, even with the seats whether they were up or down it was not enough room for me to sleep from here to the lift gate i needed about eight more inches that way to sleep in here comfortably the only way to do that was to make this platform it is not very high i think this is a six inch platform maybe about a six and a quarter with with this on top i can still even with the mattress sit on it and my head does not rub the roof now it's very very close but um and i sometimes i can't keep my hair in a bun on top it may rub but uh, for the most part I can sit up it's, I don't have to hunch over and it's it's comfortable now with it in place you can see there's about a four and a half inch difference between the back of that seat in its laying down position and the front of the platform now if I were to put the seat back up just with that rotated back up there's a little over five five and a quarter inches of course now the seat slants up this way anyway it has to be down for me to be able to sleep okay i make sure that stayed down all righty once i arrive at my destination and i'm ready to get my bed set up all i've got to do is pull this out and it only goes about goes to the edge of this plastic the lift gate stops here so there's a little bit of room that that mattress will hang over, but my feet aren't that low anyway. Um, and then I just unfold this mattress. Like that. And then I have to, uh, whoops. Well, I usually have two hands to do this. I'll have to put the mattress up on the top of the second seat. And that gives me, this mattress will extend all the way to the lift gate, usually by the time I get on it. This is, I think it's a 75 inch mattress. Um, this sheet that's on it was actually a bunk sheet that my, I think my mother-in-law gave me to go in my camper and we ended up not using it. So I uh, just used it for this and it was a perfect fit. And then when I get ready to leave, if I need to break, break this down, put it back, just fold it up slide that back into place and I'm back in business and then I can set my second seats back up and ready to roll oh one other thing I just realized when I put this uh, platform in here I found that this forward foot this front foot actually ended up being 
sitting on top of this hole where the uh, seats attach, I just put a small piece of uh, wood there for it to rest on. And since that would make it off kilter from the right side, I ended up putting a little block of wood over there for that leg to sit on. That just keeps it uh, even. I use this under here for storage. Um, I've got just some, I got some extension cords. I think that's a iron skillet. I got an axe and hammer and my tools and stuff are up front. And to get to those tools, in case you were thinking this is too hard to dig around. Actually, when I lay that second seat down, let me go show you. With this second seat down, pull the lever and bring it up again. And I can get to anything I need. Like this is my tool set, air compressor keep this tent which I'm actually fixing to swap out for another it's just an extra and other things I can get to that easily and then the seat sets back up and with the second seats put back in place that's how this rides all the time this stays in here even when I'm not car camping I just leave it there's no reason to take it out I only use this space here for my groceries I hope this helps you hope you'll be able to utilize this or even expand on this for your with your own ideas to make you a, a platform in your suburban really for any vehicle you could uh take this and adapt it to meet your needs in your vehicle all right if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you down the road <laughs> willie